you think that's going to encourage me to give you any any more alcohol? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> if I had alcohol before I did that, I wouldn't have to do it. The you farmers know? look shocked. No. Shocked. No, that's not the way it works. <laughs> it's logical, right? They stare open now. You can rapidly feel any goodwill you had starting to evaporate quickly, like uh, dew in the morning sun, okay? I As drink. Literally chugs a broken bottle of wine. Possibly the glass as well. You're not really sure. Yes, these other two we shall enjoy with dinner in the embassy. Oh, why? They, they, they look really dubious about this, like, mm, sure. Well... Is there anything else you wish to see? He says, leaving the next half of that sentence unfinished. Uh, no, thank you. Thank, oh. thank you for your assistance. They glare at Mildred. Hi. I like your wine. It's quite good. It really is, actually. Mm. Yeah. You're thinking and there are two bottles and you would be even better. Yes. I have still the two other bottles. Yeah. I tried. Right. <laughs> Okay, take another two damage. Um, I was going to say, I was actually keeping an eye on her. Ah, give me a dodge roll to avoid uh, her opening her wine on your head. No. Apparently you were rolling crap tonight. God damn, that hurts. It's so painful and she's got in her bottle. The farmers moved back in alarm. They prepared to flee. I'm happy. Yeah, quite a... now. You've taken yeah. four damage, but now she's happy, so that's yes. okay. You're quite handy to have around, you know. <laughs> you look at the third bottle and realize that she may get you with it soon. If you try the third bottle, I will be temp very tempted to sheath my knife in you multiple times. Oh, come on, we are friends. <laughs> we help each other. Opening wine. Stuff like that. Yeah. The bottle has gone so far, um, okay? The farmers are backing away slowly. All right, let's leave this place. All right. No problem. Give me uh, another dodge roll, McKay. You're not sure if she was going for it or not, but she got but right behind you, and so you're like, whoo. Yep, make my dodge roll. She looks really innocent, but she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Right. And from the shattering of glass on something else she found, uh, you looks like you're not going to be enjoying any of those with dinner tonight. No. All right. Where to? Um, Mildred, give me an alcohol tolerance roll as McKay may get his revenge sooner here. Uh, Come on, you can make it. You can no, not actually make it. it. Did they you fail by 60 or so? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I yeah. Actually didn't. yeah, great. Uh, um, you can ask the, what? Yes. yes? Your yes. alcohol tolerance mm -hmm. is that low? I thought you would have gotten it up. Mm. I have. Mm, I will check it, but I think it's. Oh, maybe it's just by like 59 or something. Okay. Cool. Uh, I have 10. What? I have 27 and I can't count. No problem. Yeah, that is that is a fail by exactly 60 then. So, no problem. She needs yeah. somebody to carry her now. She can still yell at you or whatever. But her arms and legs are not her own right now. Joshua. Joshua, my good friend. Yes. There's blood coming out the back of his head. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember how we were talking about helping each other? Yes, like how you got me in trouble with the police. Oh, uh, come on, that was yeah. just a joke. It was just a little innocent joke. You, you don't really, you don't really remember it. It was just... I don't remember it. Three days ago, thing. I was in a police station in San Angeles. 
because of it. Dark Three Bolt. days ago. Dark Bolt, uh, uh, the woman with no name. days ago, ground. maybe. She what? She's laying on the ground. Uh -huh. There's an empty, broken off top wine bottle in one hand. McKay's bleeding from the back of the head, and she's trying to get some help. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, thank you. You need help up? <laughs> Why are you on the ground? She's lost the use can... of her legs, well, I believe. And her arms. Oh. How'd that happen? Do you usual. Hmm. And Joshua isn't helpful at all. Blood continues dribbling out the back of Joshua's head. A tourniquet to the neck would stop that bleeding. I'll take out my first aid kit. My first aid. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. One point. Think <laughs> you get a bandage with a dinosaur on the back of your head. Rawr. <laughs> and as for you, mm. uh, don't do it. Go on, do it. Oh, it worked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're poisoning myself. It worked. Oh, by the way, uh, for your doubler, roll willpower times three. That's the white power. Got it. Cool. Still hanging on by its fingertips. You have to keep it hanging on. I hate white so much. Mm. <laughs> All right. We shall go to Stinktown and to the cellar of the residence of an individual who I gave money to use their cellar whenever I wanted um, because it gave access to the sewers and it was it um, was about 50 metres away from a gate. Logan looks confused. Mm. Searching. Do you remember the uh, exact description or name of the gate room so I can find it in the sewers? It was a gate in the sewers. I was exploring with Simon. Simon ran off as he thought there was insects. And when I used the gate, it took me to the village, which is why I want to check it out is because I want to see is if it is permanently pointing to the sewers or right i mean i need something more descriptive there's a lot of different gates here yeah no i um it was a green shimmering gate okay what you told me let me see if i can find a green gate not green not deathly not that one In the sewers, you say? Yep. It appears to have gone away for now. Check back later. Okay. Sorry, there's a lot of different gates that are undiscovered in the sewer systems, and I don't see the one you're talking about. What's What's next on your list of happy fun times? Well, that was it for this place. Was uh, why why the why the elves avoided the grape fields and whether or not the gate that I that I had found in this place was permanently pointing to the village or it had gotten hijacked at the time. Did you get a good answer on the uh, vineyards? Yes. Well, in fact, good. the elves put it there, but yeah. Okay. But I'm not sure if the elves would have. But I don't know how else we'll be able to check into that at this stage. Hmm. Where to? As we speak to, what's his name? All right. Good question. Excuse me. You guys head back to the embassy, or? Yep. 
Oh, excuse me. Um, all right, so was there any loose ends you guys had that you wanted to tie up? Well, I got something I got to go do. Mm -hmm. Which is? I got to go kill someone. <sighs> and that is? Well, let's go back to red carpet. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. So you guys get back to uh, when when you uh, uh, when well you get to Clems. He goes, "Hey, what can I do you for?" Babe. Hot towel. Yes. Where are you going back to? <clears throat> Red carpet land. He goes, "Good, good, good." Gothic. Red carpet. Yes, sir. Or so, mm -hmm. not gothic, Gotham, he said. And he puts you in the uh, chairs, puts hot towels on your face, uncovers you. And you notice that the city that used to be red carpet appears to be more dark and twisted and whatnot. Uh, there's a newspaper laying on one of the other chairs that says uh, Arkham Sanatorium construction started. And uh, it also has a uh have you seen this man and it shows um the head of uh glenn on top of the riddler's body mm. it also uh, gives warnings do not approach extremely dangerous calls himself the riddler if you see him and that has a number to call Interesting. Uh -huh. So, the mansion doc, are we going first? No, I'm going to kill this guy first. <clears throat> hmm? Which guy? guy? I have a date. Logan, do you remember? Yep. Oh, that. In two days. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh, who's your second? Uh, and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The jewel. Yes, huh? you. Yes, Josh you had a jewel. B list. So yes, I completely forgot. Yes. Yep, it's some dude who's been working his ass off on the uh, his sword fighting skill, so that he can take out Doc once and for all because he knows he's nothing but a low down dirty. So the the important thing is that whoever is uh, not fighting will get to card whore their asses off. So mm -hmm. who is your second? I was, I believe. Josh. Very well. All right. So no problem. You meet up with the dude. And essentially, as always, it comes down to a sword fight. And it is standard combat. The guy doesn't know what he's getting into. Are you using a regular sword? Or are you pulling out a lightsaber going, ah? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're a sword. All right. No problem. Uh, so uh, <laughs> round one. Uh, heroes are first. Pulling out a weapons approved. Quick draw sword. Chop his face off. You Did go. you want a D6 damage card? <laughs> Just get it over with real quick. No, because we, we want some cards, so All right. I'm going to do a lot of damage to him, and then you know I'm going to poke him for a while. All right. <coughs> See? Chop. Two points. Ha-ha. All right. He attempts a certain roll. Ah. Give me a, this is for the combat, give me a willpower times three roll there, Chris. Got it. Cool. No problem. The Highlander stuff all seems to be working for now. So, uh, he attempts to chop your face off. Because, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, wait, he's pairing. First, he's going to try pairing up the negative things. He's going to try chopping your face off because he's really good with the sword. 
He parries away those two points. Ha ha, he says, and he chops your face off. So let's see. Uh, goes up a dice uh, because yeah. he. Do you parry? Uh huh. I already rolled 42. Right. No problem. You guys cross steel and sparks begin coming out, just like you've got car batteries hidden under your clothes. <laughs> Next round. Heroes are first, villains are second. Throwing something is approved. I'll be on the phone. I shall be on the phone to Mildred. Okay. So that she can cut order as well, since yes. she can't be here because she's not a second. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to throw anything, Mildred? Yes. Where I where am I at home? You're 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 um, standing near the car holding a phone. <laughs> I'm just throwing the phone. <laughs> it, it's uh, you, that's the only thing in your hands, as far as I know. You won't have to spend around picking up something new to throw. You can go get it again. You can try okay. to make a successful throw roll. You could throw it somewhere soft, as opposed to shattering it. You should do a successful throw and roll, and then a successful catch yeah. roll. Throw it up in the air and catch it. Yeah, if she wants to try playing catch with herself, but usually it's lethal. <coughs> I'm not good at well. My, I will throw, try. Throw. Go for it. No. God damn it! She says, "Give me a luck roll. Lower is better. Uh, if you just make it, you'll damage the phone, possibly destroying it. If you I, get it by, did you get it by? by, uh, by if you make it by thirty, it's it's okay, despite your throwing it on the ground. Nice. Did you make it? You have 85 yes. luck? Cool. I have 82. Oh, so it's not. So it's, yeah. So, no problem. So it, it, you missed it by enough that the screen is now all cracked up. You need McKay to buy you a new one. Yeah. <laughs> right. I uh, okay. And uh, let's see. Chris, go ahead and do your thing. He's going to try to parry you. Cha ching. Ha ha. Okay. He counterattacks. He is really good at this, but so are you. So you guys go ching, 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 ching. His second looks bored, like it's only a matter of time before Doc Fulton gets his type of boredom. Next round. Laughing evilly and lighting a bomb is approved. Unfortunately, nobody has that. Villains are first. Villains can't use hero points. Heroes have a small chance of dropping shit if they take damage. The bad guy goes for it. He's doing. He, he's prime. He's attacking aggressively and defending with what's left over. However, he doesn't quite fumble. It's goddamn close, though. So wow. he goes for the parry. Doesn't quite parry. It's close, though. <laughs> he's doing a lot of very near shit. So Chris, this is the round in which you may finally injure him. I chop his hand off. Called shot hand? Yeah. Okay. It's negative 30, right? Or 60. Uh-huh. 30. 30. Got it. Now just inflict enough damage. Six. There goes his hand. So hey, he looks at it and goes, you son of a bitch. Let's not bring my mother into this. We all know she's a bitch. <laughs> right. And next round. Heroes are first, villains are second, navigating is approved. Do you, do you, need, do you need a moment? Uh-huh. He okay. says, he picks up his hand and waits until it heals back onto it. He just... I dust five, myself six, off. Five, six rounds <coughs> just go by with him just glaring I at you. I tie my shoes. <laughs> just glares at you while he waits for his hand to reattach. Like, you motherfucker. Eventually, his fingers are working and he goes... Okay, thank you for waiting. His second's mm -hmm. like, oh, oh. <laughs> I shall attempt. I shall attempt to work out where North is. Excellent. Go for it, Yana. What are you doing this round? Um, nothing. I make my navigate land roll. Okay, shows uh, Holmes going. <laughs> and 
Next round. Eventually, next round. Hits. Which way is the wind blowing so I don't get blood on me? <laughs> Heroes of first may not use their vampiric powers. Inflicting damage is damn approved. It. I cut off his other hand. God damn. <laughs> he tries to parry. Nope, he didn't parry. Again. 15 to his other hand. He falls to his knees with blood spurting out. He's pretty much ready for the coup de grace at this point. He goes, oh, ah, ah. I dodge. I dodge the blood. Uh, sure, <laughs> let me let me uh, see if he uh, actually, no, it didn't come close to you. Step back. He's like, ah, ah. He's going into shock and stuff. Just finish him, says a second, for love of all that's good. Next round. Uh, that's it. His action is bleed. Next round. Heroes are first, doing uh, nothing good's approved. So, his second's like, finish him. Come on, don't let him suffer. Don't be, a, don't be that guy, he yells. I, I take his head off. No problem. God damn, is that a crit? Yeah. Ching. 17. His head flies off of his body. You, uh, I. Give me one last willpower roll to see if you actually get any quickening. No. It goes into the, it just doesn't seem to happen. I'll Something spend, is I'll very wrong. Oh. I'll spend a pause. Oh. Pink. I'll spend another pause. Not work. No. Times three? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Apparently, White has left the building. Do either of you have a reroll? Unfortunately, not. Mm. No. No. No worries. Too easy. He expires. The other guy's like, What happened? Was he not an actor? What's that? I don't know. Is this a setup? What? No. Let's go. No, no. No, what, no. What's going on? Who are you really? I've, we've been having Obviously, problems. he's not an actor. Otherwise, we would have seen what, what, what what's going on here. No, it's not. He, he was. He, he's an actor. He's in. He he, he was in Bad he's, Fellas. He's, Bad Fellas. He's one of those lookalikes, isn't he? <laughs> he just runs. He freaks out and runs away. All right, I'll play the WTF card. Hmm. What's that? And, uh, permanently 10% added to any of the following skills. Pilot, Zeppelin, oh, okay. parachuting, dog sledding, scuba, swimming, skiing, zero G-Ops, or vac suit. You know that, Chris? Scuba. scuba. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I was putting it to. Oh. That's why I now, have as much in scuba as I do. Because well, of that yeah, Mm -hmm. I have now have scuba better than hobbyist. Oh. No problem. Yeah, it's it's very disappointing not to get the the quickening, but apparently White is going to fuck away. Interesting. All those points lost like tears in rain. Mm hmm. So, but if we bring her through, if we bring her back, um, Zog will come for her. Probably. Yeah. Who wants to live forever? Who <laughs> dares to love forever? It would be an interesting, yeah, because this is this this is not just some little pocket realm or little location but since this is such a big location this might be a good place to because it'll, it'll be an ongoing fight mm. because will... dogs dogs minions will get slaughtered and here there's enough pull still with 
Mm, things are changing here. Give me a yeah, willpower times know. three roll for something else. You'd like to make this, Chris. No. Cool. Um, yeah, you see a jogger coming this way. Just minding his own business, jogging along. Now the body. Jogging along. Don't forget, we know we know the police are the police are nowhere near his alert. I I jog up to him with your sword out. He turns around, starts running away, running away. <laughs> Shows you running after him with your sword, blood dripping down it. He's running, going, oh god, oh god. I drop the sword and I run after him. No problem. Give me a sprint roll. He's going for all that he's worth at this point. Correct. You catch him and are able to eat him. It shows like a lot of nature documentaries of like lions catching zebras and shit. I call MCC. No problem. So I grab a hold of him and I put my arm around him. Like, please, please, please. You cannot let anybody know. We're doing an indie film, okay? You recognize me, right? Ooh. Give me a fast talk <laughs> roll. Nice. Uh, you're a fool. That's a beautiful thing. He says, oh, can I be in it? <laughs> you already are. Oh, I, I look back. You. I nod and we continue walking. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That, that went a totally different direction than anybody thought. No problem. By the time uh, uh, you get back, the body is mysteriously gone with mysterious tire marks near it and mysterious uh, McKay standing there looking mysterious and the woman with no name has shown up and she's also looking mysterious. Uh, when now, MCC turn up, mm -hmm. I'll ask him if they've heard anything weird starting to happen with with this or if yeah. they've noticed. Are they, having, are they having a few more issues in regards to... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to stop service soon. Yeah. Let let everybody know. If yep, it keeps yep. going like this, we're out. Yep, yep. Understandable. Uh what in the fuck? He says looking and it shows like the body and it shows this huge, ever growing cone of blood <coughs> that's been sprayed across the lawn from the guy's missing arm. He just looks at him, you and goes, Really? Really? Did you have to do it like this? I was the second. That's why you bring squeegees, right? Uh, you're, you're not back yet. This is why you were off doing oh, stuff. So, sorry, they, they I was, I, I was the, the second. They just look at you like it's your fault. They do their Does, best. Do, do my clothes look bloody? Do I look cut up? I obviously wasn't the one fighting. They just give you that look like, we know it was you. We know it was you. They spray down the stuff. They, they're like, has anybody seen the arm? Anyone? Anybody? We need all the pieces. Anybody? Oh, there it is. Great. And they load all that shit in. And they go, not much more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they head out. All right. So you can reattach stuff cut off, but didn't get to see long enough to see if something actually regrows. Mm. Fulton comes back. Presumably not. Otherwise, he wouldn't have touched his hand. You want out? You want out, Cut? You want to go outside? Are you looking at me like I owe you money? Fucking Cut. Very right back. You want to go out? Okay. Hmm. Mm. I'm just thinking about the whole situation here. Yeah. I I suspect we'll see in the newspapers about actors being arrested for murdering people, uh -huh. murdering other actors, mm. Be because the police are the police are no longer oblivious, or they're not as oblivious to the whole Highlander stuff. Because of white influence is waning, the police are becoming more alert. Mm. Yeah. What do you guys do? 
as well as other people. All right. Yes, things are changing. You notice the city looks much more grim and dark, and the buildings uh, kind of have that whole Tim Burton look to it. Tim Burton, Yana is a famous film director who has a lot of dark, kind of weird. I stuff. know who Tim Burton is. Oh, you don't. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, that kind of stuff. So why don't we? Hmm, we could kind still of cool that, man. to you, Yana. It is. This might just be your new home. Oh. So, I mean, is it worth bringing White back here? Do we think that will draw Zog out? Oh, I'm sure it'll draw Zog out as soon as she's not there. Huh. But to prevent this world from changing further, I yes. do have an idea. Mm -hmm. Please tell. So what if we gathered as much of the white that are allied with um, your daughter and um, brought them back here? Mm. And then grab. Well, we brought like I get get them together in one area, one one spot. Yes. And then bring the clock here. And then focus White's power through the clock to anchor <laughs> this reality with White. Yes. Yes. So if we bring like, the clock from Burlington. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I mean. Does anybody really care about Burlington? I mean, we get some more Ovaltine rings, and then we don't care about that place anymore. Mm. Yeah. It's just, I mean, the people there aren't, they're not people anyway. They're not human. Right. Yeah. There's some sort of, yeah. Mm. The only low, problem. Low-end low androids or something. Mm. And maybe even if we have the reality anchor with us, maybe then we can try to contact her and she can at the same time with all of the white together that are like the high priestesses or the like more than level ones concentrate mm -hmm. enough of her of us all trying to talk to her to pierce the veil to amber to like funnel back some of her power mm -hmm. or try and establish her back a link. Here that way uh, yeah um, establish a link with the anchor thus making this her reality instead of yellows because as much as i like batman we cannot let him have this whole reality no. What do you guys think? Yeah, it makes sense. The only problem with this beautiful plan is that it would involve being in contact with people I don't want to be in contact with anymore. You're going to have to deal with it eventually. I mean, oh, I know on. Down, deep, down deep you still care for her. Both of them, okay? I know you're angry, but you care. Don't even start with this. Okay. You know you do. Hey. I know it's painful. I get it. You but... saw you were you wasn't you were with me. She didn't even hear anything I said. Yes, she did. Because I talked to to Danielle afterward. What does she know? She's been with them. She knows how pained they've been, and they're very hurt that you have not been around. Well. But... It's by their own design, I know. And they were trying to keep you safe, and they were trying to keep the ch the children safe. That's just what they thought was the best to do. Yeah, but they were, they were wrong. They did. Hmm. I agree. I, hmm. I agree. I agree. Okay. I'm not okay. siding with them. I'm not siding with them. I just know what the reality is, and I know what we need to do. Or that's mm -hmm. what at least I, I think we need to do. Mm. What do you propose? That we just call them like nothing happened? Like I... Yeah. Well, not like nothing happened, but you need, you're going to need to talk to them anyway. I can get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so do we want to do that? We could try it. Okay. Whether or not it'll work the way we think it'll work. No, it probably won't, but <laughs> I think it's a goddamn good idea. <coughs> it's certainly oh, did interesting. Did you hear idea. anything about what we said? Probably not. Uh -huh. Did you hear any of our planning? 
I heard uh, you going into the fucking lion's den with Yana. Where okay. would we? Where would we put it? Well, they have resources. They have resources that can protect it. Yeah, because don't know what'll happen if Batman got his hands on it. But it has to be somewhere here, since Batman's source of power is here. It has to be somewhere yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, I agree. It has to be somewhere to counteract, to act as a, to to act as a balance or to. Mm hmm. So Logan. Yeah. This mm. is what we've been brain. This is what my big brainstorm is right now. Go on. White's power is waning. I contact all the priestesses I can, bring them back here. Um, we go to Burlington, not with the priestesses, just us. We go to Burlington, we get the clock, we bring it here, we anchor this reality, and we channel White's power through the clock, trying to get a hold of. Mildred's daughter, so we can counteract Yellow's growing power here. Wow. Let's go with step by step with this shit. First off, <laughs> yes. when you say, because uh, that's a lot to unpack, okay? Yep. <laughs> We're going to have to do this in fucking little stages and shit because you know, like said, we go out in a boat, we kill Jaws. If necessary, we'll blow up something when it's in his mouth that's explosive somehow. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, right. So the first thing you want to do is contact as many white priestesses as you can. Whose phone number do you have? Uh, I have Danielle's, and Danielle has everybody else's. You try calling Danielle, and it goes straight to voice. Or Actually, it, ring, it tells you the the caller is not available and then it sends you to a generic voicemail it's all generic okay so i tried to force the call <laughs> you're talking as hard as you can into the phone well no you know what i mean though right oh no i know what you mean but okay. yeah it, well, it, if they're not picking up they're not picking up okay well i i also am thinking that maybe if i do it that way, maybe they'll know that I'm trying really, really hard. Uh, there's different ways to contact them, but the phone does yeah. not seem to be the one that's working. Try, for try the uh, I, I use my cell phone and I call the number that she called me from. Yeah, like I said, it goes, well, actually, that the one that the generic one that just goes to, uh, oh, I go, uh, guy picks up and he goes, so you want the D, huh? Yeah. Who? What? <laughs> Sally? Sally? Is that you? Never mind. <laughs> Have a good day. Uh, man, you threw me off my rhythm. He says. <laughs> so this isn't Sally. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. He hangs up. Apparently, they recycle the phone numbers quite quick on burners. You may I was need, just a burner. Um, she did. You may need to do the hands over the eyes bit and try and talk to her that way. <gasps> no, no, Logan, that's what I did. Oh, I thought you were calling on the cell phone. Oh, fuck, no. That's why I meant like I was trying harder. Like I oh, was okay, yeah. Harder. Give me give me a willpower times three roll, and you can try as hard as you want. <laughs> okay. Sorry, uh, before, I thought you were calling we, on the cell phone. Go to the, no, no, no. Down the path of the where are we doing You're this? You're standing are in the park the... waiting for the police to come and find uh, DNA. I'm, a, I'm assuming we're going, are we going back to the mansion? Yeah, let's go to a neutral area first. Do, do you have uh, skill plus cards? Yes. You guys uh, go catch a cab and get back, or an Uber and get back to uh, uh, the mansion card. that Fulton built. It looks like it's kind of starting to have some problems, although they do have a new butler there. He's young and worried looking. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hey. Get us Hi. some drinks. Right. Drinks. Yes. Yes. He you let off. you guys in. <laughs> no problem. Give me the willpower time. So yeah, nothing. It's like it's like it's like you're just sticking your hands over your eyes like anybody doing it and it doesn't do anything 
Apparently, they're all dead. Hooray! <laughs> Drinks are brought in, though, while you're staying in the middle of the room covering your eyes. And he goes, oh, the method acting. And he delivers the drinks, and then he, he like almost bows going backward, trips over some stairs, writes himself, hurries off. He thinks you're getting ready for some new part. He hurries away. Glasses on. Okay. Uh, right. Mark off another charge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Um... Let's see. I think uh, there's a little bit of magic on uh, both of your companions. Uh, oh, wow. Spot hidden. If you make that, analyze magic. Lower is better. Half, half. Bastard. It appears that there's some sort of strong underlying current that seems to be twisting reality here. Um, that has nothing at all to do with white. It looks as though uh, things are going darker here. Mm -hmm. Your guess at half, probably yellow. Mm -hmm. You're thinking that is the color for the woman with no name. She can just tell people she has gangrene or something with her yellow eyes. <laughs> Isn't it jaundice or something? Right, jaundice, yes. There you go. Thank card for medical shit, Pete. So, medical. Yeah, nothing, Chris. It appears that that shit's broken. As, as was numerous times stated, white is definitely going away, and not just going away, but going away quick. Okay. So, if that's the case, then we have to do this a bit differently. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go visit Batman? <gasps> I'm sure he'll let us in. Mm -hmm. you know, you're Robin and you're Batgirl, according to him. No problem. I Let's see. Before we go visiting sure. Batman, Aww. what is our intent? We should probably go tomorrow in... during the day. Yes. Does he is he active during the day? Well, no, no, he's not. We have to see him at night because he doesn't make public appearances during the day. I bet he always has his things at night. Okay, so <clears> he's that's a vampire. something I was curious about as to which variation of a vampire is he. He's not a daywalker. Like he hasn't. Like I, I, we can do quick research to see if he's out during uh, the day. I mean, he all. hasn't. Oh, just from what you have experienced with him. Um, so it sort of makes sense that he's the Hollywood version of a vampire being what this place is. No, I've never seen him drought during the day, nor does he sparkle. So Yeah. Yeah. Well, because it was it was the films that first introduced the concept of vampires not liking the sun. The original Bram Stoker, he Dracula could wander around in the day, he was just weakened. Yeah. Well, all the films now are about whether a young girl would like to fuck a 900-year-old guy or a dog. Mm -hmm. I mean, vampire werewolf. Sorry. It's the same thing. Um, <laughs> fuck Twilight. Fuck Twilight and the goat ass. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, give me give me a computer use roll, Chris, as you turn on the new laptop. Look at its spark. <laughs> 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 Can't send it's it back to hell. Bite, oh, okay. No, Come I on, ask it, ask it, ask it the way you ask it every other time you've screwed. <laughs> can you, can you just, just, just you do it, because I'm not. Yes. It, it on, seems to be the one thing that you fail badly at rolling every time is using mm -hmm. the computer. Don't know why, considering how you roll for everything else. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's supposed to be flames. Oh, I sent it back to hell! Die! Die! Says McKay beating it to death. <coughs> that Moss Ed, Moss Ed's in interfered with it. Mm -hmm. There you go. No problem. You managed to stomp the computer flames out. <laughs> well. Do you want me to try? Oh, no, it's dead. No, oh, you need it. Okay. If you want to try. 
it, it's it's they they managed to stomp the flames out of the computer. There's nothing. No, it's a laptop that literally burst into flame when they tried it. You've never yeah. seen anything like it in your life. Yeah. Might be the laptop was a vampire. <laughs> Maybe. All right. So if if we just go on the assumption that yeah, he only comes out at night, <laughs> he sleeps during. <laughs> It, it seems to be... The butler guy comes running in. Holy shit! He says he hurries over. He takes the laptop and he goes, ah! He rolls his don't panic roll because he's new to this. He throws it through <laughs> the window. <laughs> the window. <laughs> he goes, ah! And he jumps up on him and tries to bear him to the ground. No, I, I, I parry. I, like, I, I push him to the ground. <laughs> he flies by you and tackles a vase and bears it to the ground. I stick my arm, like I grab some water. I stick my arm out the window. I pour it on there. <laughs> no problem. It's just smoking and shit. All right. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, you never know. I mean, in California, it yeah, fires in the yeah, night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at it too hard and it might burst into flames. Are you okay, Dr. Fulton? He says to the base as he's lying on the other side of the couch and you can't see him. Yep. I'm fine. Thank good. Oh my God! You've turned into a vase. Oh wait. You need to calm he yourself. Stands up, looks around. Um, I'll by, get a cloth. By the way, two questions. Two uh, a question and a request. What's your name? Uh, they said uh, my name is Jeeves. No. What is your name? Some <laughs> some of the people here may be rude and refer to you as Jeeves, but I some of us mind. actually would. Some of us would actually prefer to refer to you as what you would like to be known as. Jeeves is fine. It's uh, okay. And, and could you roll up your sleeves and show us your arms, please? My arms? Yes. Uh, okay. He begins to slowly roll up the sleeves on it. He has no weird tattoos and stuff uh, showing like a, a big Y shape with a bunch of dots yep. around it. Lovely. He looks totally confused now. He goes, Thank you. Oh, no, I don't do drugs. No. Good, 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 good. good. All right, then. I, I'll i get a cloth. He says. Thank you. He heads off. piece of glass falls and joins its buddies on the... Mm -hmm. All right. So, did you want to go and just chat to him, or did you want to do something a bit more? No, I meant, you know, chat with him. Mm -hmm. Eddie comes back in with a um, uh, dustpan and uh, broom. He begins slowly cleaning up the glass, desperately hoping to overhear you guys. You guys sit there and are quiet. He hurries the fuck up, gets the fuck out. He can he can figure that out after a while. Right, you're back by yourselves. I although so he, do, he is outside do we, the window. Do I need to, to get to tape it up? Do I need to get the large bag with the bushmaster in it? I think it's called a bushmaster. Sledgehammer, sorry. No, no, says Eddie. I think that I can get this window repaired. Okay. He goes and makes a call. Do you repair windows? Oh, that's the name, window repair. Got it, got it, got it. He talks to them for a while. Mm -hmm. He goes away. Give it, he brings in more drinks um, and then goes away. Do I need to get the auto shotgun? Auto assault shotgun? I don't think we're going to be able to get near him with that. I think we're going to need to right. go in as just like ourselves and go to talk with him and then. All right. Sounds good. Well, has anybody actually gone to visit him before? He's two half. Mm -hmm. Not since he's been mayor, though. Right. Since he's been mayor, I mean. No. Got it. So uh, you are going to. Uh, how do you want to deal with this then? Uh, let's put on some protection. Okay, you guys are all wearing condoms now. Yeah. Well, some, sure of don't have magic have... some of us don't have magic Some of us magic armor. Oh, right, right, right. <clears throat> I 
<coughs> so how do we you, you have to talk me through this it's not just a cut too because yeah yeah, yeah. it's bad i'm not sure i've never visited him so i don't know where we're going if we're going to his lair or to the bat cave out in the desert or wherever it is or yeah, yeah, the yeah, house yeah, yeah. over the hole with the pitch in it under it if you had a computer, it would be super easy to try to research this kind of thing. But apparently, well, punching. I, I know. Does. My understanding is both Doc and Mildred have been to the Bat Cave. I'm not saying that they haven't, but you know, things may have changed since he became mayor. Well, Batman goes between City Hall, the potentially trapped Department of Transport, and the Bat Cave, which is in the desert, a few kilometers from the weird hollow house that steps into a pit inside the front door. The GPS coordinates of the sites are blah. Inside the bat cave, down a will cave in. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Is a source of Earth's blood. Mm, big trouble again. Don't know how this is helpful. Oh, yes, and Alex really wanted me to tell you badgers. It was hard to hear him through his ledger, through his laughter. You pull that off your interdimensional communicator thing. There's also a uh, advertisement from X zero two three saying he has new stock in. What's he got? doesn't say it's probably just a cheap trick lure you down there it always is yeah um, we do occasionally buy stuff from him because sometimes it is useful so yeah. do we just want to go there and try if batman is there or no or what by there one of the places you were at <laughs> We can start with the bat cave and yeah, it's good. So you two have been to the bat cave, haven't you? Yeah, we can do yeah. that. Yeah. No problem. Cut to are nighttime. On, uh, sorry, I was just going to say, are you getting dressed as Robin and Batgirl? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually a serious question. It I'm is. But saying as a card no, for well, it. I actually will. However, not as Robin. I'm going as Nightwing. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Nice thinking. Are you getting dressed as Batgirl? No. What? Come on. It'll make it easier us getting in to see him. Uh, okay. Know you as Batgirl. So the okay. question is, are you dressing as 1960s Batgirl or modern day Batgirl? Actually, mm -hmm. I don't know what I don't know which Batgirl you were dressing as previously, so. Yeah, I don't know either. So just like some random Uh, locksmith plus 20. Uh, Doc's pretty good at picking locks, so don't need that. Doc, do you know which version of Batgirl it was? It was the old school one. The 1960s? Yeah, because I had the 1960s outfit on. However, okay. now that things have changed... Well, you know what? Yes. It might be better if you get dressed up as the newer one at this point. Mm, yeah. Maybe. The, the Just kind of like getting... everything's changed. It's now mm -hmm. like real Gotham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's get going dark, so it's going to be okay. the more the more, the more dark versions of them as well, opposed it's... to the 1960s che cheery bubblegum versions. Yep. Let's do that. Uh, you're going to need to go to a costume shop or something, then. Yep. We'll go to the costume shop we got our really expensive vampire costumes from because they were a high-end costume shop and did really ah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, you dig her in there and you get her hooked Question, up with a... Question, is mm -hmm. there... And should I go dressed as anything? What about... Well... No. Yeah. <laughs> Say it, say it. It will not work in our favor. Something that will be in our favor. But maybe he would be intrigued. 
we oh we could pretend that we are bringing you to him yes yes <laughs> you could be like is El come come on come on alfred let's go <laughs> <laughs> yes yes i could do the alfred but he's the joker he's the shotgun joker no cuz then you'd have all kinds of other fuckers after us and that's we don't need that no we need Alfred as, as a while, like, while it might be amusing, it's not it going to get. Team. Yes, this yes, Alfred be sounds good. No problem. You blow a bunch of money on super high end costumes and stuff. Uh, what kind of weaponry are you wanting to try to lug around? It's what's in my trick. Good. Good, because Alfred doesn't, there's not a lot of room to store shit under a tight butler's uniform. Are you one to, well, are you one to make yourself up to look more like Alfred, or are you just kind of going as yourself in a butler's outfit and hoping that it goes for Alfred? So, uh, I'm like, unless they review are any good at disguise. Unfortunately... No, you don't have the man of, of a thousand faces with you, sadly. Yeah, you know, got, no, so got... stop at the studio right quick and have him do you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. I was going to say, we do we do have access to, well, Alec, all of Alex's makeup gear is there. Well, I was going to say, at the studio, the they got makeup. Yeah, but yeah, we'll just use the studio, get them, pay, get professionals to do it. No problem. Let's see how those professionals do when you stop by. This should be fun. Yeah, they do not bad. Great. Yeah, uh, they make you up to look like uh, the Alfred. You got some gray in your hair and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you guys are, uh, one of them's like, so Batgirl, uh, Black Man, whoever that is. What, Nightwing? Oh, Nightwing. He rolls his superhero lore to see if he knows who that is because, oh, uh, he goes, uh, okay. And Alfred, where are you going? We're going to go visit Batman. Oh, you make an appointment at the mayor's office. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Weird that only him and his cabinet work at night. Well, him, his cabinet, the cops, the usual. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Cool. Nightwing. He has no clue who that is. <laughs> Wing. Okay. Thought you'd go as Robin or something. <laughs> right. He's done. He goes, all right, you're done. Thank okay. you. Where are you guys heading to? Uh, I call the mayor's office. Mayor's office? May I help you? Yeah, this is uh, Dr. James Fulton. I was calling for the mayor. All right. One moment. Let's see. I'm sorry. The mayor is not available. Can I take a message? Yeah. Can you tell him like that, that or Robin wants to see him? You drop the name of Robin. Yes, I will. Uh, we, we can make an appointment. Uh, let's see. Uh, two days from now at mid, uh, at 1230. PM? How much time do you need with him? Just a bit of time. No problem. She gives you the address of the mayor's office and stuff like that. Uh, and it's the official mayor's office. And uh, you have an appointment for in two days, 1230. Shall I cut two? Sure. No problem. Uh, your makeup will need to be reapplied there. Uh, mm -hmm. OK. The reapplication, fine. No problem. Cut two. You guys go through the metal detectors. Anybody buzz? Go off? Anything? No. No? Lots of cops and stuff like that. Uh, there's also a black guy in a uh, dark suit wearing a fedora. Sharp cheekbones. Looks very dapper indeed. Very slick. Very svelte. Svelte's in their word. And he goes, ah, Nightwing? That girl, um, the Mario rolls. Austin. 
Pardon? Demario Austin. Is that is that Alfred's actual name or something? No, that's the name of the gentleman we're talking to. Hmm. Big card for being slick. He goes, hmm. And you are, he says. Alfred. Ah. Okay. He gets on his cell phone and mentions <laughs> who's coming up with him and whatnot. And you guys head over to the elevator. And then you go up and you go into the mayor's office. And there's 11 more of these uh, black guys. It looks like somebody said, all right, bring me all the thin black men who are between this height and this height. Great. I'll take all the thin ones that look as close to each other as possible. A couple of them have like vampire fangs going down, but you notice one of them readjust his teeth. All of them. You're thinking they might be fake. This is because you all have freakishly good spot hidden, and I think you already got checked, so I don't even need to have you roll. They're hanging out in the same office as the big B when they when you get to meet up with him and that man stands up and he says that girl nightwing alfred please have seats there are three chairs in front of his desk 